Hi, I'm Boromi, and I'm here with Larissa. Hi, Larissa. So you're introducing a revolutionary software as a service platform. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Hi, Boromi. Yeah, that's right. And welcome. GVM, which stands for our Agile Media Processing Platform, is a cloud-based SaaS platform that leverages modern elastic compute technologies. We developed that specifically to address the today's broadcasters' needs and reliance on costly and inflexible hardware media systems. Right. So we've seen a lot of uh, cloud platforms proliferate in the last couple of years. So how is GVM different? Well, let me try to clarify one thing first. Almost any solution can be deployed in the cloud right now, or let's better say virtualized. But beyond the cloud thing, the most important thing is the elasticity. By the way, AMP doesn't have to be deployed on the cloud only, so we can also deploy that in any platform because it's completely microservices based, so you're not only dependent on the cloud. So the question, however, on the elasticity part is I, that I want to ask, do we really need to build those big monolithic data centers to cope with the worst case scenarios like we do today in broadcast? So for example, like Facebook or Netflix, they are known to be elastic, but Netflix had a disaster by relying on only one data center. And this is what we really tackle because we have a truly distributed elastic compute platform that enables full resilience and risk mitigation. And of course, it even goes further because you only use the resources when you need them and you also only pay for the services that you need them. And this ultimately allows you to just, you know, Bring on, deploy, spin up and spin down and operate your services when you need them and how long you need them. So what do you mean by broadcast applications? Well, think of anything that you can do in a traditional broadcast station today. Ingest, play out, live master control and so forth. But because you acknowledge the fact that ultimately we still want to do the same thing, right? We want to produce and we want to distribute content, but we need to do that in a different manner by enabling flexibility across any location and environment. So elastic compute applied to broadcast, why is that a big deal? Well, just think of what it typically takes when you want to launch a new service or a new channel. You usually have to build your infrastructure from scratch or you need to bring up a lot of resources to do that. It's usually costly, it's risky, and it takes a lot of time. Now with GVM, you can just try out services. You can build your workflow in just in a matter of minutes and then ultimately test your new business opportunities, whether that is a new service or an existing service in a new market, quickly and riskfully. I mean, can you imagine all the opportunities that you can do now by using GVAMP? So is there any way you could show us how this works in terms of providing people with more business flexibility? Sure, let me show you a few of our AMP applications. And what you can see here is our GVUI. So GVUI is our HTML5 based interface that allows you to arrange different web components how you want to do them. So you can build more or less your user interface how you would want that. So let me show you some stuff. What we're doing here today is actually we have three different locations. I'm based in Belgium, we have a node that is running in Hillsborough, and we have a node in AWS US West. And now I show you how you can interact from across the ocean with all those services that are running. So if we go in here and we look, for example, at the different router panels, we have here our G3, and this is actually what you see also here on the right on my monitor. So if I change you know, the picture here and I just go to another source, I can immediately see how this does change. So this is actually fantastic. Then here I have the other routing panel, which is on my Hillsborough office. And here we can do even more. So when I now route an output from Hillsborough that also goes into what we call our sky router. The sky router allows to route signals globally and you can run them completely reliable with high quality. I can route them from the cloud to Hillsborough and then take them out in Hillsborough as an SDI signal and just run them into my workflow as I'm used to. 
So let me show you something else, which is our clip layers. So when we go over here and we go into our AWS demo in US West, you can see I have several clip players, I can load clips, I can playback clips, I can do some in and out points. And here I have our multi -fear. So what is really cool, I can choose, you know, what I want to have on my different tiles, I can change them and you see they're immediately also changing on my, um, on my output picture. So you can, you know, um, literally do all of this in seconds and just make that um, your production environment as you would want to have it. And of course, nevertheless, don't forget that we can do a lot of great things with our resource manager. So let us talk about something that I really got intrigued about. So the product name mentions agility. Of course, it's called GV. AMP, which stands for Agile Media Processing Platform. So, but what do you mean by agility? I mean, isn't cloud agile by definition? Well, just think of what people want to do today. They want to build a workflow that they can actually, you know, meet all of their uh, needs and not just, you know, have a big thing that they can't change. So it is what why, you know, all these custom developments now were rising because everybody wants to have their own customized software and so on. And the great thing is that with the microservices architecture that AMP is built on, we actually enable a granularity to shape any workflow to any requirement and make it completely obsolete that uh, at the end of the day, that you pay for any resources you don't need. So moreover, our platform, it is designed that someone can have designed a workflow exactly for his or her needs, but then someone else, the workflow might look completely different. So you can choose and personalize your workflow with that in just a few mouse clicks. When you start with AMP, you configure your production as you need it. And that can be managed from the resource manager, which basically acts as your system dashboard. So let me show you that. The resource manager allows you to simply show all of your nodes that you have in your system up here, for example, our node in Hillsboro or the node that we run in AWS US West. And then also it will show me here with my filters, for example, all the different um, workloads that are running right now in the demo G3 or in our Hillsboro node. So very simple. I can just like make a full production. And then what I can do is I can snapshot all my resources. I take them, I say snapshot all, and then I will just save the snapshot under a uh, soccer Saturday. And I say, okay, great. Because now I will just spin down all my um, applications, I will just, you know, shut down my node and don't pay anymore. But then the week after I will come in here, I say, I want to load this up, this snapshot for the soccer on Saturday. I say, I want to start, I'm going to select that where I want to run that on the fabric. And I will just spin that up again. And all of the applications will just come up there again. Okay, so that's really great. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with AMP, but would you actually trust the cloud to run your operations? First of all, let me say that we have a strict separation of the control and our data plane. And that means that every customer can choose their cloud or on-premise platform that they want to have. We offer the control and of all applications to make your production happen. And all you have to do is just run them. So we support several cloud providers, as I mentioned, that is AWS, Microsoft, and we can also run on Dell servers and many more to ensure that you can deploy GVM on your platform of choice. Choice. And also make sure we will not lock you in into any single cloud vendor or platform. Moreover, GDM, it doesn't have to be deployed in the public cloud. Indeed, if you feel you want to run it in your own private or hybrid data center environment, that is also possible. Okay, I mean, that's great to hear. But how do you make sure that all these broadcast processes that you run in your TV station day by day will run flawlessly in the cloud. Well, as you know, with Ingress Valley, we actually have quite a heritage in bringing up a lot of different um, technologies that are used by broadcasters worldwide. Examples include our switchers, cameras, processing equipment, and so forth. And we, within GVAMP, we leverage that heritage. So its power 
comes uniquely from five core technologies, which are backed up by 17 patents. So whether you're deploying your broadcast workflow using AMP or you run it on a traditional uh, broadcast technologies, you won't see any difference. And that is what we do guarantee. And that is what makes it so unique. So just think of the things that historically have represented major hurdles, such as timing, connectivity, bandwidth, delay, and so on. We solve them all in GVM. And so with GVM, you can be reassured that you will meet the same media workflows and that they are treated the exactly same way as you're used from your traditional equipment. That's great, Larissa. And thanks again for walking us through the benefits of GVM. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about? Well, just remember, GVM is just super great. And this is definitely the coolest thing we've all ever worked on, especially in times like today, where you need to have the maximum flexibility to guarantee you can still stay on air and that you have to work from any location across the globe and make sure you can cope this challenging times, especially in this year. I mean, you can gain much more business flexibility with AMP and also think about all the business opportunities that have not even been unleashed using that technology. It's built up on the best technologies with resilience you are used to from all of our Crest Valley products. And you can be totally assured that we will deliver that level of reliability that you're used to and expect for all of your broadcast applications. Finally, mentioned this agility is outstanding as you can basically build a workflow as you need it and just use it as long as you need it. And don't forget, you know, at the end, I want to mention that we also have great solutions that you should watch as well, like our AMP master control and our AMP layout. So I encourage you to watch these videos after that one.